Now, okay, hi folks. It's going to be another senior moment. I guess it uh, must be a senior gardening moment. <laughs> uh, I'm planting, as you might know, all the way down 300 foot of fence line. I'm planting trumpet vines. And this is one that I planted last year. It came up. Uh, so now I'm planting every 20 feet. I'm planting a new trumpet vine. <clears throat> and this is the way they'll look. And eventually this whole fence will be covered with these vines and, and these trumpet flowers in the spring and summer. <clears throat> Magnum's thirsty. Magnum's uh, thirsty. <clears throat> <laughs> well, here's, uh, Say hi, Mag. Sloppy dog. <laughs> I've got three of them planted so far, the three that I planted last year. And I find that <clears throat> I took the I took the fence guard off of them, and uh, the rabbits are in here eating them. So all of these new ones, and even the old ones, I'm going to put a fence guard back on. Now, <clears throat> what I've done is. On each of the holes, I've got the holes dug. On each of the holes, I've got some gravel here. Some pea gravel. I've got the other holes all done. But I'm just putting about a half a shovel full of pea gravel out of the bottom of the hole. And then, I'm using I'm using this. Okay. You got that, son? I do, yeah. Okay, got this it. is what I'm using now. I'll put one shovel full of this, which I've got in the trailer here. Got a picture of our trailers on? Yeah. This is our little quad dump trailer. I'm put one level shovel full of this, and on top of that peat gravel, just for drainage. Okay. Okay. I think I'll put a little bit more in there. Yeah, that leaves me enough. Uh, that leaves me enough room to put the plan in with the with the grow medium that's in the plant. But in the meantime, I've got this shield that I'm going to put in. This is the, the drip system that I've got in there. What I'm doing on this, I've got, these are actually hog rings. Probably would be better off not having my gloves on. But I don't know if you're familiar with hog rings. But if you're not, this is what they are. So I just use a hog ring to hook that to the fence. Okay. And I'll see if I can get another one down at the bottom. Yeah. Kind of difficult to get in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little tough to get in there, but it's it's a good way to hook something to the fence. Yeah, from the inside, probably. Yeah, I think nice you're right. Thing about it, you can always use a a nipper to take those out if you want to. All right, what's the next step? Okay, the next step is I'm going to open this up. Yeah. 
need something to hold that open while you put your plant in, huh? Yeah, I meant to bring a, I meant to bring a stick out to hold that open. I didn't, I didn't bring well, one. do you want to, you want me to stop this and set that up and then we can come back? Yeah, no, I can probably get it with the shovel. All right. Here, I'll hold, I'll hold it. All I'm doing now is I'll just, uh, I'll just use a little wire to hold it open. That's all I need. Yeah. That'll give you enough room to get in there. That'll give me enough room to get the plant in. All right, so now what do you do? And this is my plant. And this is a plant that's going in there. So these are much more, um, much bigger than... Yeah, these are bigger than the ones that I planted last year. And all I do is just take these out. Just drop the whole thing in there, and I get down. <laughs> Carefully. If it's at all possible, I get down on my knees. I should have brought out my little, my little kneeler pad, but. Oh, you want me to move that shovel? Got it. Anyway, and what I'll do is I'll put, I'll put two more of those hog grains yeah. to cover that up. And that just keeps uh, keeps it big enough so that the uh, the rabbits can't get in there and eat it all up. Yeah, see what they've done to this one over here. Yeah, you can see, they've, uh, they've pretty much uh, decimated the, had, the uh, bottom of that thing. It was it was growing all the way to the, to the yeah, ground, I, right? Yeah, I had stuff all the way around. Now you can see they've got up here yeah. Got up this high and chewed this off. And I had, even yesterday, I had new growth on here. Yeah. Just yesterday. So they got in it last night. So yeah. with the shield, that I'm, I'm going to put shields on my existing back on there. And with all the new ones, I'll have shields on them so they can't get to it. Okay. So this is... Uh, this is basically what you see here. I'll come back and finish this up, but this is what you see here. Now this, these are real fast growers. So by the time the next year comes, these will be up and spread down the fence. <clears throat> I've got 15 of them that I'm planting all the way along here. I got the holes all dug already for the plant to go in. So I've got to make the shields and I've got everything else ready. So I'll make the shields and get the plants in. Then I'll turn the water on, get them watered, and then I'll water them once a week. And that's all I need to do next year. Uh, we'll have this whole fence covered with, uh, with trumpet vines. Excellent. And that's it for this time. We'll see you on the next one.